they're upset about the fact that they're being exposed. Well, I'm sure they are. I mean, look at the tinted windows. Uh, they, they don't want to be seen. They don't want even anybody to know they're here. So I'm sure they're ticked, you know, and that's why we're here to try to expose them. Do you think that they were angry that they were on the front page of the local paper today? You think they're in there reading it right now, Jim? Uh, yes, no, I don't think they're happy about it. They prefer nothing at all, no publicity. They pr prefer absolute secrecy. Yeah, you better look away. We're not your slaves. You don't own me. Alex? Yeah? That's Chalabi, eh? You think Chalabi? No, 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 I don't think. I know. It looked like Chalabi, and it was a fat, fat guy. Yeah! That was Ahmed Chalabi? Yeah. Oh, my God. Then they're really going to attack Iran. <laughs> That's uh, Queen. Francisco Pinto I think that's the Queen. It's the Queen. Oh my God! You see her? That looks like Rockefeller. The decisions that these people take, again, they not only decisions affect business community, they affect uh, politics, business, environment across the entire spectrum. And these decisions are made and taken by a very elite group of people behind closed doors this year at the Brook Street Hotel. We are not privy to these decisions. We're not allowed to know what they're talking about. But we'll definitely feel the consequences of these decisions over the next 12 months when events which apparently by accident seem to happen, in fact, have been planned right here this year at Brook Street Hotel between 8th and 11th of June. What is Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Canada today to stand up against the Bilderberg Group that is attempting to get rid of the sovereignty of the United States. The truth of your world government has now been exposed. We know you are ruthless. We know you are evil. Today the Rockefeller, the Rothschild representatives here, to the Queen of the Netherlands, from all of you, we tell you, you are not our queens, you are not our kings, you are not our gods. We do not belong to you. We are not your slaves. We stand as free to as stood from the beginning of time against the strong men, against the thugs, against the bullies. We will defeat your world government. We will defeat world taxation. We will defeat your control grid. God is on our side. I stand before the creator of the universe. And I ask the creator of the universe and our founding father in 1776 to please guide and direct us and to give us the power and the foresight and the understanding and the will to stand against your entire agenda including your final plan of world population reduction of 80% that Henry Kissinger penned in 1973. Why do you put mercury in the vaccines, stannous sodium fluoride in the water? Why? Why do you put cancer viruses in the vaccines? Why have you used to put in uranium now in four separate nations? You're arrogant. You have the sickness that elites have had throughout history in their literal and in some cases, figurative ivory towers. You believe that you're invincible. You will and you are failing now. Your new world order will fall. Humanity will defeat you. The answer to 1984 is 1776. Richard Holbrook?
Ambassador Richard Holbrook thought the peasantry wouldn't recognize him if he took a stroll off the grounds of Brook Street. Holbrook cackled when I told him that we were not his slaves. Holbrook, we're not your slaves, Holbrook! We're not your slaves! Holbrook, we don't belong to you! We're not your property! We're free humanity! Yeah, there he goes. Coward. They love it. They love it. Okay, we're going to be going around the back here, guys. Hey, guys, how you doing? There are several rings of security service. The American delegation at every Bilderberg meeting is usually protected by the CIA and a special division of the U.S. Army. The British delegation is protected by the MI6. Israelis usually are protected by the Mossad. The Ottawa police, in this case, working for the security, they uh, have very little, actually they don't have any information at all about what the meeting is about. They don't know who the Bilderbergs are. Then there is a, uh, an elite uh, uh, private firm protecting the perimeter, doing all the dirty work, such as shooing off the photographers and, and, and bothering uh, the protesters. But, you know, that's like piddly stuff. All the heavy stuff is done by the security service, such as the CIA, MI6. Some years ago, my legs were a little bit stronger than they are now, and I crept over a fence under cover of darkness and uh, approached. Uh, the cops started uh, yelling and pointing at me, so I... Uh, ran with speed I didn't know I still had and some shots were fired but they were far above my head. I mean they were intimidating but they were not really trying to kill me. Not when sharp sharpshooters are fired far above 20 feet above your head. Bilderberg was founded by David Rockefeller and the Rothschilds in Britain and Europe. Uh, they're still uh, the main powers. Baron Evelyn de Rothschild, a male, uh, attended for many years. Rothschild is still represented. You'll see them on the list of participants. Somebody representing the Rothschild group. They are the main powers uh, behind Bilderberg. Dutch World Shell is part of the Queen's uh, fortune. Uh, of course, the Rockefellers have, have always had heavy oil interest. That was the original source of, the, of uh, their old money, of the old man. Now, I think what is very difficult for most people to understand is how such a small group of 125 men and a few women control a population base of 6 billion people. Actually, it's much easier than you think. These people work on what I call a systemic methodology, meaning that you take a pie, just imagine, you take an apple pie and you slice this apple pie into lots of very small pieces, and you put in front of each one of these pieces your men or women of trust, and by controlling this individual, you control an entire organization. For example, if you take Paul Wolfowitz, who runs the, uh, the World Bank, uh, through him you can control the entire organization. You don't need to control what the dishwasher or the toilet cleaner thinks or does or believes in. You just need to control what he does and what he believes in. And what he does will permeate the entire organization. And that's how you control with a very, very small power base an entire global population of, of 6 billion people. Bilderberg is making great progress toward a world government. They have uh, created a super state in Europe called the European Union. They are intent on creating a Western Hemisphere Union called the American Union. NAFTA is to be expanded into every country in this hemisphere. As NAFTA expands, it will take on the role of the American Union. And only an educated, informed public can stop them in their tracks. 